Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So you all must be aware about this that in CS and at exam, every topic has its own weightage and there is nowhere which CSIR declares directly or exactly that what topic has what weightage, right? So this is nowhere disclosed on the CSIR website. So that becomes very tricky for us to guess that which topic will be having more weightage or less. So for that, we can only analyze previous years of question papers and we can understand that which topic will be having higher weightage and which will have lower weightage, right? Now, in the previous years, we have done that for you and I have already made videos on it. So you can watch those videos. I have given link in the I button so you can watch those videos there. But in the last one or two exams, I have seen that the pattern is changing a little bit. Weightage of topics are changing a little bit. And it was very important for me to inform you that there are certain topics irrespective of what part you are taking like organic, inorganic or physical, whatever part of uh, chemistry syllabus you are taking for the exam. There are certain topics which you should not miss out so that you ensure good marks in the CSI net exam. All right. So in this particular video, I'm going to talk about these topics and I'm going to tell you that what exactly are this topic from all these organic, inorganic and physical chemistry so that you don't miss out them during your preparation and so that you don't miss out marks getting from them. All right. Now, without wasting much time, let's continue with our video. Alright, so we will start from inorganic chemistry and in the inorganic chemistry majority of the portion you all must be aware about it that majority of the portion of your syllabus is taken by organometallic and coordination chemistry and in exam also if you see the question paper they are the highest weightage topic so you should not miss out coordination chemistry and organometallic at any cost if you are taking organic and inorganic or if you are taking physical in and inorganic it doesn't matter. If you are taking inorganic into consideration, you cannot miss out uh, coordination and organometallic. And when I'm telling don't miss out, that means each and everything you have to study. It's not like you have studied coordination chemistry, but you have left reaction mechanism part. Or if you have, uh, let's say, studied organometallic, but you have not studied coupling reactions or the catalyst uh, or the catalysis cycles which are given at the end. So those things please don't do. Cover the topic completely because. Uh, when we talk about the weightage of it, it covers the whole topic, right? Coordination chemistry starting from your basics till the advanced means it goes till the reaction mechanism, organ diagram, everything is included over there. So please make sure that you study each and everything from coordination and organometallic. Now, apart from these two, uh, bio and organic chemistry in the previous few years or especially in the last two, three exams, if you see, has gained a lot of weightage. Uh, in the last one or two, three exams, you will see that the number of questions from bio and organic has increased uh, and that is because uh, now the weightage of uh, uh, p block element and the weightage of general inorganic chemistry is getting decreased and those questions are converted into bio and organic chemistry now bio and organic is not difficult uh, it's like it's just a perception that we have made that bio and organic is very difficult it's not at all difficult you just have to study it you just have to make notes and you, you just have to mug up the things over there, right? Because in bio, in organic things, you don't have to understand much. Uh, but yeah, it, while remembering, you obviously have to understand a little bit. But majority portion will come up where you have to mug up the things, right? So for that, you can recommend, like you can, you can follow books or you can also uh, go with your own notes or you can watch videos related to bio and organic chemistry and make your own notes and study according to that, right? So don't uh, leave this bio and organic chemistry at any cost because in the last few years, the weightage has been increased and it's expected that in the upcoming exam also uh, from bio and organic chemistry, you can at least see two, three to four questions in the exam. Now, apart from all these, uh, there is inorganic spectroscopy also. Many people just outlook inorganic spectroscopy, but this is one of the most important part of your inorganic chemistry, including your coordination and organometallic. So uh, many people don't even study uh, inorganic uh, spectroscopy. Inorganic spectroscopy will include inorganic NMR, uh, it will include EPR, MOS bohr all these things are basically included in inorganic spectroscopy. So please do cover this topic as well. It's also one of the most important topic from your inorganic chemistry. Now let's move to the physical chemistry topics, right? Now in physical chemistry topics like all topics have their own weightage and there are certain topics which carry higher marks weightage. 
like your quantum chemistry you might be aware about it that it carries a lot of weightage but i also admit that quantum chemistry is like every question of quantum chemistry cannot be done by everyone right uh, although i have made few videos which will which have discussed some of the easy type of questions which are asked in exam so in case if you are leaving behind quantum chemistry completely just go through those videos so that you just understand that at least you can you will be able to do one or two questions in the exam right so uh, quantum chemistry is one of the topic which has a lot of weightage apart from quantum chemistry we have thermodynamics which has a lot of weightage right thermodynamics is something which is seems very easy but in exams it's actually not that easy it's quite con confusing and many people end up doing co wrong questions over there so for that i will recommend to solve a lot of numericals related to uh, thermodynamics uh, you can follow books like kl kapoor for solving questions and uh, you should practice a lot of question from the, these topics especially in physical chemistry because practice is going to give you a lot of confidence for exam molecular spectroscopy is again one of the important topic it has always been asked with a high weightage of marks and you should not miss out the topics molecular spectroscopy will include rotational vibrational rotational vibrational and raman spectroscopy so all these spectroscopy and questions related to it are going to be asked in exam so you should be well and good with uh, solving questions based upon these particular topics right now apart from them uh, there is a topic of uh, surface chemistry if you see in the previous one or two years you will find out that the surface chemistry questions are asked more frequently so this topic becomes more important nowadays and uh, you should not miss out if you are preparing for uh, for physical chemistry as one of the topic then surface chemistry is something which you should not miss out uh, questions from surface chemistry will include starting from your basic like uh, isotherms which are the langmuir isotherms and uh, like friendly isotherms all those things are asked apart from them questions based upon your uh, different type of gold number then there are stability of colloids then micelles related questions uh, then questions related to surface tension direct questions related to surface tension so these things are going to be asked from your surface chemistry so make sure you prepare surface chemistry well again uh, to solve questions you can follow kl kapoor as one of the book for that right now let's talk about organic chemistry organic chemistry is such a topic that uh, the more you study it uh, the more it will require to study more right that means like you cannot say that i have studied organic chemistry completely there are so many things in it and it takes a lot of time to prepare organic chemistry and i admit this that it, organic chemistry is not easy especially for me it's not easy for me but yet there are certain topic which carry high weightage and which are easy to do uh, which you can easily understand and you can do questions based upon it in case if you are leaving behind organic chemistry uh, you should not leave behind at least organic spectroscopy which is one of the topic which you are going to use especially if you join research also so organic spectroscopy will include your uh, nmr spectroscopy under nmr spectroscopy you have to study carbon nmr proton nmr then you, al you also have to study depth spectroscopy uh, dept uh, then uh, comes your mass spectrometry then ir the different values of ir a little bit of uv visible which is not asked much but yes you should know about uv visible spectroscopy as well and how to uh, find out structure of the compound based upon uh, the spectroscopic data which is given for the molecule now to solve these questions to practice questions based upon organic spectroscopy uh, you can follow pavia any day that's one of the best book uh, for your organic spectroscopy and i have also studied when i was preparing that was one of the book which i have studied thoroughly for organic spectroscopy so i would recommend uh, pavia for you guys also if you want to uh, master organic spectroscopy apart from organic spectroscopy of course reaction mechanism and name reaction is something which you should never miss out uh, if you are taking organic chemistry as one of the topic these this is the highest weightage topic uh, from your organic spectroscopy apart from these uh, stereochemistry these days are asked of more weightage if you see the previous years of question paper you will find out that stereochemistry is asked in a various different ways like not the direct questions but they are also now included in the reaction mechanisms and they are asked in an indirect way which is what csir is known for but yeah uh, you should consider uh, stereochemistry as well you should not leave out them so in case if you were not studying let's say organic chemistry then organic spectroscopy is something which you should not at all leave at any cost and also you should study stereochemistry to uh, like cover some of the topics or some of the question in your csi net exam now i have only covered or i have only mentioned some topic uh, which i believe were of high weightage from organic inorganic and physical all 
आई वुड रिकमेंड यू टू स्टडी ईच एंड एवरी थिंग वॉट एवर टॉपिक यू आर टेकिंग फॉर द एग्जाम Uh, this video is just to remind you that you don't have to leave these topics. Don't consider this video like you have like whatever topic I have mentioned. Don't consider it like I'm just going to study that much and I will be able to qualify. Okay, that is not going to happen. Please make sure that you are studying the topic in detail. This consider this particular video just as a reminder, just as a uh, as a advice that you don't have to miss out these topics which I have mentioned in the video. So that's it from my side for this particular video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then have a great day. Bye bye. Take care. Hey guys. So I teach live on an academy plus platform. Here I teach for the CSI UGC net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes. Whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes, we have to take an academy plus subscription. So do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes, which are quite organized. The whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there. So make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. That's it for this. Thank you so much.